There is a famous saying in the mechanic world, there is nothing more expensive than a cheap German car. You see them on the used market every day. A flagship BMW 7 Series or a Mercedes S-Class selling for the price of a used Honda Civic. It looks like the deal of a lifetime. You think you hacked the system, but in reality, you just bought a financial suicide mission. In our last video, we talked about how Japanese engines are built to last 1 million miles using simple, proven technology. Today, we must face the dark truth about European luxury engineering. Why is it that a car costing $100,000 is often in the junkyard after just 12 years? The answer lies in a business model designed to drain your wallet. Here is the secret. Luxury car manufacturers do not build cars for the second or third owner. They build cars for the first owner who leases it for three years. The engineering target is showroom appeal, not long-term durability. As long as the plastic parts hold together for the warranty period, the manufacturer is happy. After that, it becomes your problem. We call this the warranty cliff. The moment that odometer hits 50,000 miles, the car effectively self-destructs. Engineers calculate the lifespan of components to last exactly through the lease cycle. Unlike Toyota, who designs parts for 20 years of abuse, luxury brands design parts for four years of perfection, followed by immediate failure. Let's talk about the plastic pandemic. Open the hood of a modern BMW or Audi. You will see plastic everywhere. Not just engine covers, but critical internal components. Plastic water pumps, plastic thermostat housings, plastic intake manifolds, even plastic oil pans. The problem isn't just the plastic, it's the heat. European engines run extremely hot to meet emission standards. This extreme heat cooks the plastic components thousands of times. After 60,000 miles, that plastic becomes brittle like a cracker. One day, you hit a bump, the coolant pipe snaps, your engine overheats, and you are looking at a $5,000 repair bill. Speaking of heat, let's discuss the hot V configuration used by BMW and Mercedes. To reduce turbo lag, they place the twin turbos right inside the valley of the V8 engine on top of the block. It performs amazing for the first few years, but it creates a literal oven that fries every rubber seal, gasket, and wire harness sitting nearby. It is engineering for performance at the cost of longevity. This leads to the notorious oil leaks. If you park a 10-year-old BMW in your driveway, expect oil spots on the ground. Valve cover gaskets, oil filter housing gaskets, oil pan gaskets, they all fail. Why? Because they use eco-friendly rubber materials that degrade rapidly under the high-performance stress these engines generate. German engineers are brilliant, but they are addicted to complexity. To change an oil filter on some luxury cars, you might need to remove the air intake. To change a headlight bulb, you might need to remove the front bumper and the wheel. This is called service position. This complexity is why mechanics charge so much. It's not just the expensive parts, it's the labor hours. A $20 seal might require 10 hours of labor because the entire engine needs to be dropped out of the car just to reach it. They do not design these cars to be worked on by humans. They design them to be assembled by robots. And don't think you can fix it yourself in your garage. Oh no. You need proprietary special tools just to lock the camshafts or reset the battery computer. They lock you out of your own car. They want to force you back to the dealership service center, where they charge $200 per hour. All of this leads to insane depreciation. A Toyota Land Cruiser loses only 30% of its value in five years. A Maserati or large BMW can lose 60% to 70%. The market knows these cars are nightmares to maintain out of warranty. 
The depreciation, in random, it is the market pricing in the future repair bills. Then, there are the electronic gremlins, air suspension that collapses overnight, digital dashboards that glitch, soft closed doors that stop closing. In a luxury car, everything is connected. If a door sensor fails, the car's computer might think it's being stolen and refuse to start. You are not driving a machine, you are driving rolling computer code. It gets worse, manufacturers are now introducing subscriptions. You already paid for the heated seats hardware, but BMW wants you to pay a monthly fee to turn them on. They are turning car ownership into car users. You don't own the features, you just rent them. We buy these cars for status, for the badge on the hood. Ideally, engineering should serve the driver. But in the modern luxury segment, the driver serves the engineering. You work to keep the car alive. The car does not work for you. Compare this to the Lexus. A Lexus is technically a luxury car, but underneath, it is still a Toyota. It uses boring, proven technology. It might not be as fast as an AMG around a track, and the screen might look dated, but it will start every morning for the next 20 years without asking for a monthly subscription or a new water pump. So, here is the golden rule from Honest Mechanics, the five-year rule, if you must buy a German luxury car, buy it new or lease it, and get rid of it before the five-year mark. Do not be the hero who tries to keep a V8 BMW alive for 15 years. You will lose. The car always wins. If you want a car for 15 years, buy a Lexus LS or a Land Cruiser. True luxury is not just soft leather and ambient lighting. True luxury is peace of mind. It is the luxury of knowing your car will start when you are late for a meeting. It is the luxury of not having your mechanic on speed dial. Don't let the badge on the hood fool you into buying a lifestyle you cannot afford to maintain. So, does this mean you should never buy a German car? No, they offer driving dynamics, interior quality, and prestige that is unmatched. But you must know what you are signing up for. Do not buy one out of warranty unless you have deep pockets. What is your experience with luxury cars? Have you ever fallen into the money pit trap? Tell us your horror stories in the comments below. If you want to save your wallet and learn the truth about cars, hit that subscribe button for AutoSight G. Thanks for watching.